I thought I'd do a quick video on hobbling, kind of the type of hobbles I'm using right now. They're made of cotton. Uh, before this, I only ever used leather hobbles, and I have to say I really like using these, especially for the starting, just because the leather hobbles look really nice, but they can be a little hard for me to get off, like after they've hopped around, which the way that I taught this horse to hobble, I think she hobbled around for, or hopped around for one day, and then she was totally fine. So I really like this way of teaching a horse to hobble. If you wanna see how that's done, I'm not gonna be covering that in this video, only because she is the first horse that I've taught this way. My other two horses I taught by slapping them on, holding the rope, making sure they wouldn't crash into a wall, and then saying good luck. Um, I don't recommend that only because they just kind of learn to walk with them on because they're not that worried about it. And this way, so far I have not had her walk. So I'm just going to do a little video showing you kind of how these hobbles go on. And if you want a video on how that's taught, I would probably look elsewhere only because this is the first horse I've really taught to hobble properly and I feel like it's one of those things if you do it wrong it can go really really badly and I just don't want to get somebody hurt because I tell somebody something and they don't know so maybe once I've hobble trained five or six ten then I'll actually do a video on how I teach it but for now, it's just going to be a little video on these cotton hobbles. I actually made this pair. It's pretty cool. So I'll show you that and uh, wish you good luck. If you do have questions, you can always message me though. And I'll help as much as I can. Okay, so before I put them on her, I thought I'd just show you really quick. Here it is. It's just um, a regular three-strand braid. So it's nothing too complicated. And then it's got a loop on this end. And it's got a Spanish ring knot that will slide up and down. It's kind of hard to move with one hand, but you'll have to take my word for it. And then on this end, it's got usually just one knot, but um, he was Craig was using it on another horse and said it was too long. So he put another knot on it and now it's perfect. I, before this horse, I have not really done a lot of hobbling. I just I don't know, it was never something that I really cared that much about. And having worked with her on some of the stuff I've worked on, I have figured out that it is definitely an important part of a curriculum and I will be using it. It's just a really good skill to have because it's like the more I teach my horse, the less problems she's likely to run into. So yeah, now I'll just show you how I put them on because that's probably going to be the most helpful for you. So now I'm just going to show you how to put these on. Hopefully this is a decent angle since it can be confusing. Basically I'm going to put it around and I'm going to wrap it. So she's a little afraid of rope so I always try to pick on it nicely. Go around that outside leg. Twist. Twist. And I usually get like three twists and then I just make sure my Spanish ring knot is open enough. Since it's got two knots, it needs to be pretty open. And then, if I were really worried about her hopping around, I would slide my Spanish ring knot back over here. And now she's pretty much uh, she's pretty much locked in. Even if she went to like hop around, these are not gonna come off, which is really nice. Just because you know, I mean, it's a cotton rope. Without that little fastener, I feel like they just flop off. But uh, then it's really easy because you just. Slide this back one more time, and sometimes it's a little tight because they they're wet. So they've they they were wet this morning. It's been a little misty. Take it off, and then you can just untwist it and pull it, and your horse is free. But uh, these are really nice. They're really quick, easy, and uh, like I said, they're really great for when you start them, just because even when they hop around like that, they still come off super easy. And uh, <laughs> I've just, Marv has hopped around a lot and I only had leather hobbles and 
there were definitely times where I was like, this is going to be hard to get off. So uh, these are just awesome for starting on the hobbling. And uh, they're really easy to make. <laughs> really easy. If I can figure it out, you guys can figure it out. So there you go. I hope that helps. So sorry it took me this long to make it. I just get fixated on one project and I forget about another. But uh, finally did it. Hopefully it's actually helpful. And if you have any questions, you can always message, you know. I'm always there and I want to help people as much as I can. I've gotten a lot of help in my life and I still am. So I want to pass that on to everybody else if I can. So good luck, everyone. Oh, are you going to say goodbye?